been um, a proud United States citizen and resident of Texas my entire life. I was born in Dallas, raised in Richardson, and in my youth I attended Legacy Christian Academy where Angela Paston taught algebra before her political career began. Without a second thought, I stood every day and dutifully pledged my allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which I fully believed stood one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Liberty and justice for all. I meant it then, and that is why I stood, that is why I pledged my allegiance. Imagine my horror when I finally realized that when we staunchly proclaim this phrase, the powers that be translate it to liberty and justice for some, as long as I personally deem them worthy of it. I swore my allegiance to a lie. I cannot in good conscience do so now, and cannot and will not pledge my allegiance to a lie. Know that I do not do, take this lightly. I once considered myself a great patriot with an unyielding love and loyalty to my nation, to my state, and to the flags that represent them, but I cannot and will not stand and lie to myself and others, stating that our republic stands for liberty and justice for all when it is clear that the leaders in my state and in my nation as a whole do not believe that the children of Gaza deserve either. I refuse to stand in honor a flag that sends arms to war criminals who kill their own hostages in an attempt to murder as many innocent civilians as they possibly can. I will never look at my country the same way, knowing that day after day, I and others like me have to literally beg their representatives to hear their cries and call for a permanent ceasefire. Not a few day pause during which civilians are shot in the streets by military, not a two month pause in exchange for the rest of the hostages while thousands of Palestinian children still rot in Israeli military prisons with no charges, no trials, and no representation for indefinite periods of time. A real ceasefire and full withdrawal of military presence in Gaza. I am begging you to restore my faith and my pride in my country and my state by demanding that our nation uphold its greatest claim of championing liberty and justice for all. Draft a resolution and call for immediate and permanent ceasefire. Use your positions of power that your constituents bestowed upon you to elevate their voices and end the bloodshed. Then, and only then, will I again pledge my allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it should rightfully stand one nation under God, indivisible, 